Hello guys, I will show you how to create underwater light for the low render time using V-Ray and Arnold. This is the effect we are going to create. First, in the V-Ray. I will show you, it doesn't have any caustic and the reflection or reflection effect. This is a simple texture effect we are going to create here. First we go to perspective view and check the scene. This is a simple scene. This is the life I have created previously. Now I am hiding it and creating new rectangle light and setting to the new scene accordingly. So we can have some good nice and clear view. Increasing the size to fill up the whole scene. I think it can be really good. Next, open the hyper shader and clear the view. And now go to light tab and bring out our new light. Rename it to accordingly to your need. And search for the noise tab and add the noise and change the if turn over the inflation and change the few settings here and there and increase the depth to increase the resolution otherwise it will you can see the circles and all and also change type to space time and now we have the effect but it is a reverse we want it to the black part to be white and white to be black so we will search for reverse and add to it reverse now we have the effect but it is too much bright so we have to make it a bit darker I have to show, uh, first I will show you if we connect this uh, bright directly what will we, we get here we are. Mm -hmm. as you can see we have uh, this bright scene this uh, light is too much bright <coughs> we cannot see the effect here so first we are and also i forgot to mention in the change the directional to one so it will focus only on the one part now we will search for the color current node i will connect the reverse to color correct and output to the light and change the gamma value to 0.1 so now we will get the perfect uh, output that we want but this, we still have the right too much bright Now we have to change the intensity of the light a bit lower. Also increase the resolution of the texture, otherwise it will look a bit janky. I'm turning off checking the mine. Okay, decreasing the intensity as you can see now we have the effect that we wanted with the light. We can increase the texture resolution by increasing the frequency. As you can see, by increasing the frequency, we have more the higher resolution and more compact effect. You can choose of your liking and according to the perspective of the, your scale of the scene. Also, you can animate it by keyframing the time node, and you will have animated effect here. As you can see, now it is changing with the time, but we still miss the the ray effect, this fog effect. So we will, we will turn on by what to settings and volumetric, and in the volumetric we will turn on the environment uh, yes turn on the environment search and let's click on the texture tab and go to volumetric and select the you know, media environmental fog and now if we check the render now it is a bit darker but we can see the that fog effect and that gold ray effect there we want to create 
uh, according to you can change the value by the scale of the scene and you will get the effect that you need please also check out the model that i have created that wonder woman 1984 you can download the model from the link in the description now we will create the same effect in arnold first of all change the render to the arnold in the render settings and hide the overall light when we created in video now and go to the lights and select the spotlight now we have created the spotlight setting up just like the previous one and increasing the cone angle so it will cover the large area and increasing the size of the light now it will cover the whole scene now going to the down and in the armor track and adding the filter AI gobo filter we will connect the texture here going to the hypershade node and you can see we have AI gobo filter here and we can connect the color correct node directly to the output of the color correct to the side view now if we go to the render camera and check the render view first we will turn on the denoiser so we will have a more clear look as you can see there is nothing happening because of the exposure is really, really down we will increase the exposure to higher value and we are choosing the 10 okay. now you can see the effect here but the texture is bit larger than the previous one also creating the environment fog as you can see created the environment fog and now changing the value accordingly and now you can see the effect you wanted you can change also in the color of the thing thank you for watching